Ja, vielen Dank, Christine. Danke für die Einleitung. Danke für die ersten Worte. Ähm, Welcome at Semantic RTLS. Wireless locating for the digital factory. Ortung per Funk für die digitale Fabrik. Many new things I'm going to try to explain to you today. Etwas näher zu bringen. The first aspect is perhaps also a motivation. You might know that. A little bit of chaos. This is at my house, at my daughter's room. There are people, small people, and they always find exactly what they are looking for. Und die finden immer genau das, was sie suchen. Und wenn die nächste Aufgabe ansteht, and when there's the next task, they also complete it. But unfortunately, don't clean up afterwards. And at the end of the day, there's always a little bit of chaos. Whenever there are people living and working, that's where we need some help to organize everything. And we would like to help you here with Somatic RTLS. What is a real-time locating system? For those of you who haven't heard of it, RTLS stands for Real-Time Locating System. It is similar to an indoor GPS, quite precise, accurate, and I would like to talk about this topic today, especially the fields of application. How does it work for you? On the one hand, we have mobile transponders, that is, small active devices you can mount on carriers, like a forklift, in order to tag certain things and track them afterwards. They then submit information to so-called anchors and gateways, that is, an infrastructure that can be installed at your factory for finding and tracking where the parts are at what time, at which place, and not only one part, but thousands of them. Where does that help? Where do we need semantic RTLS? At the digital factory, of course. If the factory is digital, it will still be the same building you already know today. But the processes inside are a bit more modern, digital, flexible, and more efficient. That's at least the goal if you want to stay competitive. And we would like to assist you in doing so. How does that work? Let me give you one example. Each of you knows a vehicle. Let's imagine we'd like to produce a vehicle. We support the whole process with the help of use cases throughout the digital factory. I, for example, ordered a huge sound system for my car and would like to have it installed in time. Let me give you some examples how that works. Let's start for the first application, search and find. You know search and find via GPS. Now the production starts. We have the body at the receiving area. We have the sound system, which is delivered together with many other components. And we would like to find out where these goods are. As I've already tagged it with an RTLS transponder, I can exactly filter the information in the system and track where my huge sound system is. This means I can efficiently find the part without having to look for it, pre-assembled for the vehicle. What do I need this for? Of course, I need this to become more efficient, to reduce search times, prevent idle times of production lines, since I increase process safety by mitigating the risks that my process may be jeopardizing by long search times. Let's take one step further. Let's go to documentation. We have equipped many of our objects and they go through our digital factory. Now I'm looking for this information in the digital system. Semantic RTLS allows for calling the information at any time. How many components do I have in stock? Where at the warehouse? When did they arrive? This is all information which you can use from the system in the end. Is it documented in real time, as the name already suggests? This means immediately when things happen, they are captured in the system and provided to you. Not only for one object, but for many objects. 
and not only within the system, but also at the part, at the carrier on site. We have also integrated an e-paper display into Somatic RTLS transponder series, the digital paper to replace the sheets of paper you can still use at the piece, like the Kanban card and the like, and to combine it with the advantages of a localization solution. From our perspective, this is key for the digital factory, as it's not enough to replace the paper. I can hardly imagine digitalizing a process without localization. The automotive sector also uses a lot of paper for documentation. Tons of paper won't be needed anymore to ensure process safety. I can additionally display the right information depending on the location. If there's information at a carrier and there's a huge note, the worker has to find the right information he specifically needs. By using an e-paper and location-specific information, the worker has exactly the information he needs for the current process step. No additional information, but exactly the information he needs. This means we involve the worker and the human being into the process. This is an important topic for us. What do I need this for? I can navigate through the digital factory in an automated and cost-efficient manner. I can permanently track the assembly progress of vehicles, of partial components, and can access the information at any time. You might remember the sound system. It requires a firmware update. To find out when to best install the update in my process, at what time, I just have to look at my documentation. How long do upstream and downstream processes take to find the right time for initiating the firmware update for my sound system? We always have our processes under control with this documentation and can monitor them permanently. So let's take one step further and monitor our processes. Monitoring processes. This means that I permanently monitor my goods and can trigger events in relation to time and location if specific events occur as planned. This means my MES system can plan at what time which material will be available. And it can issue a warning if this material is not at the right time at the right place, as I've tagged it with my transponder using Stomatic RTLS. Our vehicle, you might remember, the sound system, unfortunately the colleague has forgotten to take it with him in his tonger train. The monitoring system has detected that the goods are delayed and can automatically trigger a special transportation order saying that the sound system has to be at the assembly line at the right assembly day. But this is no longer possible with the usual tonger train but monitoring helps. I can do even more. I can, of course, solve problems sustainably in case such events occur frequently, and I can eliminate them and thus make my process smoother and more efficient. Why do I need documentation in my process with localization? I need it to make the process progress transparent at any time. We know a lot about our production today, but we still don't know enough. Production becomes more flexible. That means we need to know more. And here, localization helps. Detecting bottlenecks and errors is important in order to improve, to become more efficient and eliminate disruptive factors in idle times. Let's take one step further. Navigate. Assisting human beings and machines in finding the right position and the right way. We also use assistance of localization solutions every day when being navigated in our vehicles. Why not use it at our factories? Why not at the digital factory? Assisting human beings and machines to navigate the quickest way to the right location in relation to time. I know where construction works are. I know where obstacles are on the way. And I can support this with central intelligence. 
You already know our example. The sound system is already delayed. The special transportation order has been triggered. How does the colleague reach the assembly line the quickest? He has only four minutes left. The shortest way, I navigate him, give him a tablet, and the colleague finds the shortest and quickest way with the sound system to the assembly line. And I have secured my process in a stable and sustainable manner, despite a process error. Wozu brauche ich also Navigation in der digitalen Fabrik? So why do I need navigation at the digital factory? I need it to ensure quick and safe navigation, to become more efficient and to guide human beings in an ever more complex world and to provide ideal routes for machines. For example, a driverless transportation system, a stacker control system, all these systems can be improved with the help of localization solutions. I can also prevent dangerous situations if I know there's a dangerous spot on the way. There are construction sites. Then I can reroute human beings and machines in order to prevent dangerous situations and can simply increase the safety of the person. Let's go to the next step. Let's take one step further to the pinnacle, the control. Automated control, automated processes help us achieve maximum efficiency gain, and that's why it's the most important goal. Therefore, we need reliable information at the digital factory and have to ensure efficient and correct processes over and over again. This can only be achieved through automisms, through standards. That is, automation is needed. From our point of view, Semantic RTLS is indispensable. I can use it automatically for driverless transportation systems. I can trigger automated transportation orders for my entire product chain via a system and control the entire process in order to work efficiently. This is our goal. This is the goal we would like to discuss together with you at the digital factories of the future. It has partly become reality already today, and we want to embark on this journey together in order to automate ever more processes to become more efficient with our applications. Um mehr und mehr dieser Prozesse zu automatisieren, um effizienter zu werden in den Applikationen. Why do I need automated control? Of course, to optimize logistical processes, to optimize assembly processes, to eliminate idle times and non-value creating activities. I have buffer times and so on, which I need today to ensure the process. But with permanent monitoring of all technologies, I can reduce these buffer times. I can become more efficient and also more cost efficient. This is what we need and want in order to ensure our competitiveness in the digital world of Industry 4.0. Let's take another step further. What do I use this information for? The monitoring data can be fed into the digital twin. The main information of my several objects at my digital factory is the digital twin. This means I have the information about where, when, what combined with many other details in one system and can ideally control everything with this value-added information. I cannot imagine a digital twin without localization information. I think you might agree when thinking of the future factory in traditional assembly and production processes in discrete manufacturing. This means it is important to have the localization information about the objects and components. Semantic RTLS real-time localization for the digital enterprise is precise, reliable, and scalable. For transparent, dynamic, and efficient processes at your enterprise, without any idle power, this is important. With a clear goal to improve, to be better organized in our lives, especially in the lives in our factory. This can be the result if you clean up a little bit. I admit we have helped our kids a little bit, so that is what it looks like after cleaning. And this should be the goal, to clean up a little bit, not at home, but at enterprises.
mobile, flexible processes as we need them for the new Industry 4.0 generation with Somatic RTLS. Thank you very much. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.